everybody, Elizabeth here with Travel Chronicles episode three. I know I've been away for a little bit, but just a little bit this time, um, maybe like an extra week. Uh, so we're going to do a two-parter today, um, and I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do first. Um, I think I'm going to start with packing. I've been packing for a week straight, like at least 10 hours a day, just packing, just going through everything, condoing as they call it, packing, packing. And it's crazy because seeing everything like out and all together and going through it is like is not so like yes obviously I binged Netflix condoing <laughs> but listen here's the thing I did the books I did the clothes um, miscellaneous I'm not too worried about that's just stuff that has to get separated but the papers like I'm going through the papers and it's like I'm gonna try not to get emotional but it's like every other paper I mean, you guys, if you watched the first episode, you know that I'm coming out of a five-year relationship. And so cleaning out the house and the papers, and I like write down everything. So one sheet I see is like this awesome, like beautiful, positive thing. And then the next thing I see is like, whoa, I can't believe that just happened because I, I write down everything and I'm finding things from four years ago that I mean it's mind-blowing it's mind-blowing and just seeing everything out and in front of me and like knowing how much I've just accumulated this trip in and of itself is like just such a blank slate and for me it's so important to make sure that I I get rid of all the stuff that is the past like the things that I'm done with, it's time to be done with them. Like there's just, there's just garbage. These things, I don't know, it's really weird. It's a really weird thing. And the point that I'm getting at is that if there's anybody out there that's watching this or if you know anybody that's going through this, just know the good with the bad take it all, get it done, and know that the space that you're creating to allow your future in is so much more important than anything you could possibly hold on to. It's a hard process, but go through it, live it, feel it, and uh, I think I'm going to be stronger and I'm just going to have a much more enjoyable time not having fetters so to speak back here um now that's not to say i didn't get a storage i did get a storage and i'm taking the things that are important to me like i have journals um like i said i've written consecutively every single day of my life for the past um two years now at least a page in a journal um and so i there are things like that that are very precious to me and I took very good care to wrap them up and that'll be something that goes into storage and it'll be here for me when I get back. So know the things that you want to take into the future with you too and know that it's gonna be hard but know that it's an important, I feel like this is important and I feel like as much as I want it to be done because I want it to be done, like trust me, I would love to be on some boat in the middle of the Baltic. Oh, that segue to number two. Anyway, I'll finish that thought. I want it, of course I want it to be done. Of course I want it to be done, but I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to rush through it. I'm not going to have to come back to do it again. I'm gonna do it artfully and soulfully and thoughtfully now. I know where I'm going. 
Okay, so I actually made the plans quite some time ago. I'm landing in Copenhagen, and I'm staying there for a little bit, and then I'm gonna venture off. As you know, I wanna see a lot of the World Heritage Sites. So I'm gonna go south, see one down there, and then go back up. Um, I'm gonna start butchering all the names of these places. So anyway, there's a port there. I'm gonna take off to Bornholm Island, and I'm gonna go mushroom hunting on Bornholm Island because, of course, October's mushroom hunting season. Duh, what? <laughs> why not? What else would it do? Um, and then from there, I'm gonna make my way to Sweden, the very bottom there, and travel up by train, do do do, all the way up, seeing like a bunch of these other little islands along the way in the Baltic eventually going over to Visby, stay there, amazing, old, cool stuff there. Um, and then make my way up to Stockholm, and I have a friend in Stockholm that I cannot wait to see. Um, she was one of my roommates in a international pageant, and I love her to death, and I can't wait to go visit her. And that takes me to um, like Halloween, October, end of October, beginning of November. From there, I'm gonna hop down to Poland, um, and then November, who knows? We'll see, it's pretty far away, it's still a month away, but uh, a lot of ferries, like boat ferries, of course, but maybe other ferries, I don't know. Do they have those up there? That would be cool because the folklore of fairies is cool. They intrigue me. I always used to wear fairy wings at the Ren Fair. <gasps> Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, anyway, so uh, that's the plan, and I'm really excited. And see, this is what you have to remind yourself of. Like, uh, this is this has been the brain game for me in packing and releasing of everything. It's just knowing the amount of amazing stuff I'm making room for and the experiences I'm gonna have. And I'm grateful for that and I'm grateful for the opportunity that I have right now to, to finish this up, to wrap this up. And to have people out there like you who are interested in my journey. After I posted on Facebook, it was incredible the support I got. Um, just the love and, and the go get them and the live your dreams and get it and your plan sounds amazing. So it, I'm really grateful. I promise that I won't have like a bunch of weird downer ones, but um, I did want to share that with you because I've been, I've been feeling it. I read one card that was just like, oh God, oh. But you know, I have a support system in place. I called, you know, I did my rounds. I called like five people. <laughs> And then, you know, your girlfriends will always be there for you. So that's all I have to say for now. I'll be back with episode four. I mean, it's got to be soon. Um, maybe we'll say hi to some of the people that I'm saying bye to before I leave. We'll talk more about that later. But for now, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support. And uh, you'll be seeing more of me in Denmark and Sweden. <laughs> Bye.